Hello everyone, to me at the hair pray all as well with you. I am in a different location today. Um, this weekend was my husband's birthday, and so um, the weekend was about celebrating his birthday, so I didn't make any videos. <laughs> and then um, yesterday I had some things to take care of. So today um, I have some things to take care of too, so I was like, I really want to do this video. So um, I decided to take my things out with me, and before work start, go ahead and do a quick video. So today is day um, 22 of 100 Days of Less Hustle More Jesus, a devotional journal by Shannon Noel. And I'm just going to go ahead and start reading and then share what I did. So today is called Breaking the Ice, right? And here's a journal page that I did. And um, it was, this was on August 3rd. Um, I did this August 3rd. Yeah. And I think I did um, day 21 already. I think I did the video for day 21. Yeah. Okay, so breaking the ice. Have you noticed how naturally children without stranger danger will connect with any random person? It's funny to hear a little voice speak up in a public place where everyone is supposed to be on their best behavior. I like your shoes. Or you smell good. Or what's your name? It shocks people out of their comfort zones, makes them smile, and just seems to take the edge off. Sure, that's because little kids are cute, but it's also because they aren't afraid to break the ice and acknowledge the existence of the human beings right beside them. What's stopping grown-ups from doing that more? We might be surprised at how receptive people are and how quickly they warm up to a little conversation. It may take a bit of courage to reach out, but why not give it a try? You never know what connections God may have in store. Malachi 2.10, New Revised Standard Version reads, Have we not all one Father? Has not one God created us? Romans 15.7, New American Standard Bible reads, Therefore, accept one another, just as Christ also accepted us to the glory of God. And in Philippians 2, for New Living Translation reads, Don't look out only for your own interests, but take an interest in others too. Good. So breaking the ice. So you know, I know um, some of you watching this are probably familiar with icebreakers. You know, when you go to some type of um, conference or maybe a professional development or um, some type of gathering or meeting, they may have what you call an icebreaker so everyone can get to know each other. And also, it takes out the coldness because sometimes when you first meet people we don't know, it's like, mm, there's a lot of reservation and hesitancy sometimes. So this breaking the ice is that concept of getting rid of the cold and letting us warm up to each other, right? And as she's saying, like, children... They tend to do that more naturally as adults. I, I, the question she did say, she said, what stops grown-ups? I'm sorry, this is a train. So <laughs> I'm actually in my classroom. It's really, really early. School is nowhere near started. So, um, so she asked the questions, what's stopping grown-ups from doing that more? And I believe there are several reasons. Um, I know sometimes it's, you know, we've experienced things where people were not so nice to us or we were not so nice to them or hurts, betrayals, different things, disappointments. So I believe that, you know, um, I know that God understands why we, the, the, um, how can I say that there may be a bit of coldness at first when we first meet people, because we're trying to fill people out because life has, um, and experiences have taught us that um, we can't trust everyone. And sometimes, you know, um, opening up, it, it can be very hurtful. And um, it's not always easy to be vulnerable. And of course, what I'm saying, it's not exhaustive. So, but I know God does want us to not be cold people. He wants us to be kind hearted and, you know, loving and I think a person may be a little bit closed up, closed, but that doesn't mean that they're not loving. Some people are just introverts, um, and some pe and right and and some and we have to we have to learn about people, rightfully so. Like, I don't think we should um, 
how can I say, um, what's the word, not be willing to get to know people. I think we should be willing to say, okay, Lord, you know, help me to like engage, interact and get to know people um, in, um, in, in a healthy way. Um, because there's also an unhealthy way where there's two extremes and God has to show me like he has to balance me because I know I can go to extremes like, oh, like, oh, my God, I like put on my tr like trust this person where God is like, you know, you respect them and you love them, but they're not trustworthy. And I had to learn that that that's not a lack of love. That's God's wisdom. And let him show me even the scripture says Jesus entrusted he didn't entrust himself into man and he didn't know when to testify about man because he knew what was in man. So I don't, I know God wants us to seek him or consult to him about our relationships. And I understand that more and more as life goes on. So I wrote here, be courageous and initiate conversations. I never was much of an initiator of conversation, but, um, I can see God's helping me with that. And, um, He'll give me something to say or he'll have me smile at someone and say have a nice day or give them a compliment. Um, you know, it's different ways he has me to um, initiate conversations with people and be, you know, come out of my comfort zone. So I put one father, one God, accept others and take an interest in others. Um, I had an interesting situation with the Lord. Um, he had me go on a talking fast and that's because I can be very chatty. I know that about myself. Um um, I'm a teacher and, um, I am a public speaker. I need to work some on my articulation and whatever, but when it, God gives me things to say, and, um, even though sometimes when I have to speak in front of a crowd or even speak publicly, and there's times when I would get in a pulpit, I will always be nervous, but God would help me. And that's just keeping me humble before him. Um, so I know that I have the gift of, of, of talking and sharing. I have that um, ability. God gave me that. But he has to temper it because sometimes it's like the Lord is like, you're just talking too much and you need to give other people a chance to talk. I'm like, okay. So when the Lord put me on this talking fast, it was because he wanted me to hear him more and hear him clear and some things he wanted to show me and me talking too much was getting in the way. But also, I realized that he wanted me to ask the person questions to get to know more about them. Um, I had shared so much about myself with them, but the Lord was like, you know, give them, you know, ask them questions. Get get to know them. You're not being nosy. You just, you try, you, I want you to connect um, in a healthy way with this individual. So, yeah, so breaking the ice. And last but not least, I want to say before I share what I did on the journal page, it's something she mentioned about how... Um, how children, they'll say, what's your name? Or you smell good. Or, I like your shoes. I remember years ago, I was on the train with my daughter. My daughter had to be around four years old. And my daughter has always been a very affectionate child. Very, very affectionate. And um, very sensitive to what, um, people were going, what people were going through. She may not have knew the specifics, but if somebody was like, hold on, another train is passing. I should take the time to drink some water right now. One second. Right. Mm -hmm. So she um so she's always been an affectionate child. And if the per she may not have known the specifics, but if somebody was sad, she would just be looking at them or she will hug them, she will rub them, and sometimes I'm like, Taisha, get over here. <laughs> but anyway. Um, cause I really didn't understand back then. Like I didn't have the revelation from the, from the Lord that that was just one of the things that he placed in her to be sensitive. I later learned. And then I also learned that, oh, her mom got it too. So anyway, that's a, one of the things God gave me is a depth of empathy. And so anyway, so we was on the train and this lady was sitting in the, she was sitting in like the, the, the seat by the door and she looked so sad, like, I mean, it was evident that something was really bothering this woman. And my daughter was just, we were, we got up to like, you know, when the train is in a tunnel, tunnel and you're waiting for the train doors to open. So we waited and my daughter was just staring at that lady and I began to feel uncomfortable because I'm like, girl, stop staring. And she's staring at the woman, staring, staring. 
The next thing you know, my daughter jumped up in that lady's lap and was hugging that lady. I was like, oh my God, Taisha, come down. And the lady was like, oh, oh, oh. The la it was like the lady melted. She melted. And I was like, Taisha, come here. And the lady was like, oh, she was like, that's okay. And Taisha was like, she looked at the, after she finished, she got down, she looking at the lady, smile, the doors open up and she's like this. I said, Lord Jesus. And I'm not editing this video. At least I don't think I am. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, so, um, you know, I just share, like, she, that was her, she initiated a conversation with that lady. And it was, she gave that lady a hug, and she even waved goodbye to that lady. And that woman, who whatever she was going through, she needed that. Now I'm not suggesting I like children to be going up to strangers. This is um, um, this is contextual. So um, yeah, because you know in this world we gotta be very very careful. But it just happened so suddenly, like, and at the time I was saved. My daughter at the time she was what um, yeah she was like three four. I was saved, but I was in a backslidden state. Like I wasn't discipled. I didn't know the word and stuff like that. But I had already had given my life to the Lord back then. But I didn't understand, like, spiritual things and, you know, stuff like that. So, um, and, well, not stuff like that, but, you know, um, I didn't understand um, things about the Lord. I just knew that Jesus was Lord and he came into my life, whatever. And so, yeah. So let me go into this journal page quickly. Okay, so I decided to just hold it at this point. So what I did was I, um, I put some alphas here, break the ice. And you know what? Let me read the scripture here and then the prayer, Okay. So it says, um, your speech should always be gracious, seasoned with salt, that you may know how you should answer each person. Colossians 4, 6, Home and Christian Standard Bible Version. And then down here the prayer is, um, we're all made in your image, Lord. Remind me of that, especially when I'm with people I don't know. Give me the courage to build bridges. Amen. So I'm learning that more from the Lord. That's why I was sharing with you. The Lord told me to stop talking so much and get to know other people. So break the ice. And then I wrote, I put that sticker there that says amen. Um, where did I get that amen sticker from? It was like from Faith Warrior. Either Faith Warrior or Faithful f Faith or the Faith one. But it is a Happy Planner sticker. And then I put some little, that hearts. You see those hearts around there? I had gotten those from the Dollar Tree and that little smiley face right there. So um, this image I had gotten from Google Images. It was breaking, you see it's breaking the ice. And I wrote some words on there and then printed out. It says, hello, my name is Samantha. What's yours? And then right here, it was some also some words I made online. Courage to connect. I cut them out. And I had put some washi tape. I should have put washi tape underneath Break the Ice over there, but I didn't. And so I put some washi tape down, and then I put, I cut out the letters. I colored it, though, with some Distress Ink, like I did up there under Break the Ice. Um, I had actually put some ink on the page, as you can see around different places. Right? Um... So, yeah, so when I, I, I inked up the le the words and then I cut them out and put them on top of the washi tape, then I hope it was, this is a punch, this speech bubble, I punched out um, a piece of paper and then put initiate friendly conversation, courage to connect, and um, as I always put in Jesus' name, I ask and pray along with the prayer. And so it's a very, very, um, it's a simple journaling page. Yeah, so that's the end of day 22. I'm so grateful to have gotten this done, y'all, because I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do any videos when I get home tonight. So I'm going to do another video, hopefully. I have a few more minutes before work starts and um, upload that as well in my travels to where, you know, different places I go today. So with that being said, I want to say thanks for watching. God bless you. And remember, Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.